Okay, so hello, my name is Folu. Um, I'm currently living in London in the UK. Um, I'm originally from Nigeria, um, a country in West Africa, um, but I've been living in the UK since I was about three years old. So I'm a British citizen um, and I, I like to mix around and travel to different countries. So um, I've experienced a lot of other cultures as well. Um, I lived in Mexico for about two years and I found it to be a really rich celebration every year. Um, when I was there, what I remember is celebrating over a weekend and I remember one weekend being dedicated to the adults and one part of the weekend being dedicated to the children. Um, and I thought that was really nice that people were looking at the different parts of their families and remembering their family members and ancestors who have died um, and, and celebrating them and the things that they like to do, the foods that they like to eat. Um, I thought that was a really sweet way to remember your family. Death to me is, ooh, I think it really depends. So I'm Christian, so we don't believe, so we believe in the afterlife and that people pass on, hopefully they're going to heaven. Um, if they've lived a good life on earth. So if, I guess for me, death is not the end as it may be to other people. It's about moving on to a different place. Um, and, and I think if hopefully it's a, it's a better, nicer place. I think it's very beautiful and colorful. I know there's lots of decorations, like you mentioned earlier with the mega ofrenda, and I remember them being really beautifully decorated and really nicely decorated. I remember there being lots of pictures of different family members and they're decorated with things that that family member liked. I don't remember the name, but there was a beautiful flower that was always around for um, Davy Edip's orange. Um, and they use that flower a lot. Um, and I also remember lots of hanging decorations as well. So when I think of Day of the Dead in Mexico, I really think of it was really colorful. In England, we do something in, in specifically in Catholic churches. I know they do something called All Hallowed Eve, where the 30th of November, you have a service that's dedicated to remembering um, people who have passed and maybe lighting a candle for those people and saying a prayer for those people. So I would say that's probably something that's quite similar, at least in the spirit of the celebration to Day of the Dead. Completely. I think that Day of the Dead, the, the, to me, what I learn and the spirit of the day is definitely in line with a lot of the things that I've learned. And I think it's a great opportunity to remember family members who have passed and to celebrate them and all the things that they love to celebrate when they were alive. So I would absolutely celebrate it. And I, and I really enjoyed celebrating it the two years that I was there. She went to a few um, ofrendas um, and we actually visited a few and then we had the family members from the ofrenda talk and explain to us the different parts of the altar and why they chose. Do you remember to... the parts of the altar? So, oh, you're testing my memory now. Um, I remember they, 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 so if I think of one particular one, there were like different pictures of people from her family that she was explaining to us who the different people in the picture were. And she was also explaining to us different pieces that they had put on there. So for example, there was a little toy that she said her grandfather really liked to play with. So she had that on the ofrenda. And I think what was really nice is each one was very personal to the family that had made it. So that was really nice just to listen to people remembering their families um, and, and talking about what the different parts of your friend were. So specifically, it, it would depend on the family, but I, one thing I remember is that toy that she was showing us that her grandfather loved playing with. I think it's a, a really beautiful tradition and I think it's definitely something that, that Mexicans are really proud of and they've made their own and it was really beautiful to learn and see how they uh, celebrated when I was there. So yeah, um, Dia de los Muertos uh, was, a, was a great weekend when I was in uh, Mexico. Mm -hmm.